the benefits of uh, of uh, taking a cold shower. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you know. So that's for a lot of people. That's very uncomfortable. But that's the thing. We're living in a time where you got to get used to. You got to get comfortable with getting uncomfortable. All right. You got to get comfortable with getting uncomfortable. Because we're living in the, the, the times that are approaching, man. <laughs> you, you never know, man. So you might as well right now start getting uncomfortable or get comfortable with the uncomfortable. That means taking a cold shower. What if you have no heat and you're forced to take a shower? See, if you've been practicing, when the time comes for you to take a cold shower, it'll be nothing to you. You'll just say, ah, that's, this is nothing. Boom, you know? Another thing, walking great distances, long distances, right? What if you are uh, stranded, you can't get back home? Now you gotta walk. Can you imagine a person that's just been super comfortable all their life? It'd be very hard for them to do. So we're in a time where we gotta practice these basics, you know, because in, in the ancient world, this was nothing. In the ancient world, we took cold showers. There's no such thing as a, a nice warm shower. In the ancient world, we walk long distances. These, these things were normal, natural. So that's the, that's the, that's the uh, message for me to you. We, you, we gotta get back to the natural, natural things, you know? Yeah, because this society, it's about to plummet, man. All these so-called comforts that these people are used to, get ready to lose them. Get ready to lose them, these comforts. You want to be the kind of person with very little comforts. Minimal comforts. We live a minimal lifestyle. We're not too much into this world. We're not, and we're certainly not too much into the pleasures of this world. We're starting to detach mentally. We're starting to detach ourselves from the false pleasures of this world. You see? That, that's the move. We're learning to be by ourselves more solitary. Because again, what if you, the situation calls for you to be by yourself for days? Some people can't handle that. You see? What if you're trapped in the forest somewhere? You know, these are the things we should meditate on while we're, while we're waiting for basically this society to crumble. And it will. This society will crumble. There's no doubt about it. And like the saying goes, when the going gets tough, the tough will get going. The tough as in mentally tough. Things like this makes us mentally tough. You go on hikes. Uh, what I'm doing here when you look it up, it's called rucking. Rucking, not fucking. Rucking. R-U-C-K-I-N-G. Rucking. Google the benefits of rucking. It makes the body durable, tough. Then the cold showers. Makes the body durable, tough, mentally. You know? Yeah, man. Now, I'm just telling you what I do. I'm not being a hypocrite. I, I do it. And I see, I'm starting to see the benefits of it. Okay? And you will too. You already got brothers. I've, I've had brothers step to me saying, yeah, man, I take a cold shower, man. That's the move. <laughs> it is. Okay? Even Elder Pastor, he, he said, yeah, it builds your testosterone. And we're living in a society where Esau's trying to kill a man's testosterone. You know, too many men are that's why a lot of these, these Israelites are all into the woman, you know. They're too much, too much estrogen. They're too feminine. You know? Target reached. Target reached. 